from Nantechi HQ. In this video, we will cover how to sell digital products with Square in BitShip. So first, we would like to log into our Square dashboard. Once you are signed into your Square dashboard, you will want to go to BitShip app, which you can find the link in the description. This will take you to the BitShip website. They have a 14 day free trial and it takes care of all of your digital fulfillment. So if you are looking to sell those digital products in your store without having to send your email separately, this is a tool that you can use to get that completed for you. It starts at $9 a month for a basic for up to 50 products. And then they also have a pro plan for $29 a month. So we're going to get started with our 14 days free. We will click continue with Square. This will connect your BitShip with your Square account. Since we are logged in, we didn't have to go through the login portion. So this gives your BitShip the permissions to connect with your Square store. So we will click allow and now we will be brought to the BitShip dashboard. Here we have our product mappings where we will connect our digital products to our store items. So our menu here is our products any order as our order ID, the email that was sent, the status and how many items was sent, your account info and sign out, sign in. So now that we have BitShip, we're gonna go into Square and create a digital product. In our Square dashboard, we will go to items and orders, click items. From here, we will click create item and this will open up our editor. So here we're going to change the type to a digital and click change. So we can have our product name here, our description. If you would like to add images, it will be here. This is how it will show up on your POS system if you are using POS. Once you update images here, it will update over here and you can edit and add images to here and you can change the color of it. If you would like to take pictures with your phone, you can download the Photo Yolk Studio app from Square and port your, pro your product images here. So we have this set for our location. We could also do category, any options that we might. We have our units, which is per item variations with our weight, our skew. We'll add our price in. You can also click add a sales price and this will give you that crossed out sales location on your product pages. Any modifiers, since this is a digital product, we can also shut off our sell page to where when it's added to the cart, they'll be able to go and check out. We can have where it's sold. We can add channels for our Square Online or if we have third parties such as Instagram, Facebook and such, that will be all under our account settings where we have our order with Google, Facebook ordering, our appointments that are available, a Google business profile in Meta advertising. Then we can edit our SEO information, which is our title, our description, and our permaleak. This is what will be displayed on search engines. Then we can add subscriptions and we can also create a payment link or buy button. So now that we have the information that we need for this that is essential for this product, which is just your name, if you wanted to add your image, and your cost. Those are like your, the things that you have to have for a particular product. So if we view this product, we see $5 through $9 because we have that, we have that sale price on. So now with our test product added in our store, we will go back to BitShip to map our products. 
So in Bishop, we will click new product. We will go through our square items and we will find the product that we created. There are two ways that you can connect a digital product to the square item. You can upload the files here directly, which if you have more, you need more storage, then you will have to be on the $29 plan, or you can do an external link, which can go to a, a Google Drive, PDF, or to a Dropbox, any of those that share a link you can put here and they will be able to go ahead and download this particular product. So I'm going to upload files right now. So I have my product file uploaded and I'm going to save. And now I see that I have this, the part of my test product. I have my file in BitShip and it is complete. So when somebody orders this product, they will be able to receive their product right away. So I'm going to go back into the product. I'm going to create a payment link for this one. There we go. I'm going to copy it. Now we'll open that up. And then here is our payment link for this. Your customers can go through and pay for the product. There we go, $9, they can add coupons, their express checkout, they have their credit card, the cash pay, and they can pay for the product. Now that we've created a transaction, you can go to BitShip and you will be able to see under your order ID who the email it went to, the status of it, which here is delivered, item count one, and I could view it and see when it was placed, processed, and delivered, I can also see it was here two, 10 minutes ago. And then I can also click view transaction and it will send me to my Square dashboard. And here is the completed payment link transaction that is attached to there. So that is how you create digital products and send them automatically.